Hi, my name is Peter Schwartz. I'm a composer and orchestrator, and I'd like to welcome you to my video tutorial course, The MIDI Orchestra, Designing Templates. Now, trying to build an orchestral composition system, as I like to call them, where you can represent every instrument of the orchestra is no small task, as you probably already know. And when it comes to getting advice on how to create a template, well, if you ask two different composers, you'll get two different answers, and that's guaranteed. But it's also quite understandable because no two composers work in exactly the same way or have exactly the same needs. So I've designed this course to provide you first with an understanding of how orchestral composition systems are built, and then to present you with the various options there are for configuring plugins and laying out tracks. And it's my hope that the information and advice I'll be offering will help you design the orchestral composition system that works best for your particular needs. The discourse in this course is divided up into five sections, and in this introductory video, I'll just run down some of the highlights. The first part is all about the technology that we use to write orchestral music with, everything from RAM to CPU to hard drives, and I'll show you what sample streaming is all about, as well as make recommendations for helping you build your ideal orchestral composition system. The second part is all about working with sampler plugins, including multi-timbral and multi-output plugin configurations, as well as a potentially provocative demonstration using a big band template setup of how the practice of packing a bunch of sounds into a multi-timbral plugin just might not be everything it's all cracked up to be. Then in part three, I'll be showing you a whole bunch of different options for configuring your tracks and the relationship between tracks and plugins. And then part four is all about using Vienna Ensemble Pro, how it works and why you might want to consider building your template around it. And if your template currently is built in a DAW project, I'll show you how to migrate your sounds over to Vienna Ensemble Pro. I'll even show you how to easily recover an entire Vienna Ensemble Pro setup in the event that you forgot to save your files or your computer crashes. And in the final section, we'll look at orchestral slave systems, including an in-depth look at how to network your master and slave computers. So you can probably tell that this course isn't just about laying out tracks or configuring plugins. It's about getting a handle on building and configuring complete orchestral composition systems. So without any further ado, let's get started with the MIDI Orchestra designing templates. <laughs> 